Welcome to my channel. This video explains the implementation of a full adder using two half adder IP in Xilinx Vivado. First, implement a half adder logic. S is equal to A XOR B and C is equal to A and B. Implementation of half adder is done. Then go to tools to come to create this half adder as an IP. Tools create and package new IP. Click on next. You can change the directory or your package will be kept. And the same with the Vivado files are there. Click on next. This is the location where the IP is placed. Click on next. Finish. So these are the packaging steps to create an IP. Identification and this was the design name or module name that was created with version and this is the display name that is available as an IP to anyone. And if you want you can add the categories to which it belongs as a base IP or any elements, basic elements, counters, memory. You can add this to whichever it belongs, whether it is a high speed peripheral device, low speed. You can enable one of them. And this IP is compatible with all of these families of FPGA or you can add the families. The file groups, it consists of standard and advanced with the synthesis and simulations. We don't have any customization parameter here. We have the ports A, B, sum and carry as output. We don't have any addressing memory. Then come to the customization GUI block. These are the two inputs and sum and carry as the outputs. Finally, come to review and package. Once this is done, click on package IP. Finished packaging half adder, click OK. Once this is done, go to IP integrator on the left. Click on create block design. Keep the same design name or you can change it. It opens a canvas. Or diagrammatic view where you can complete your design using blocks. To add the IP, click on the 
symbol and search for half adder. This was the half adder which we have created. Double click on it. To complete a full adder, you require two half adders Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So make this as port. You can create the port with A as input. If it is a vector, you can enable this. Right now it is a single bit and the direction is input. Click OK. Similarly, create port with B. Create port with name it C in which is an input of one bit. The sum is connected to another block and this is the C in. This acts as a output port and name it sum. The direction is output. Click OK. Then you require a OR gate to complete this. You can right click or add from here. You can use logic you can use vector or reduced logic. Reduced logic will have only single input and the result is also a 1 but here we require two inputs. See the difference between vector and reduced logic. This is the vector logic and this one is the reduced logic. So I will complete this work by using the reduced utility vector logic. Let me delete this. This is a one bit data. So double click on it and make it as a OR gate with size of 1. Now you connect this and finally you can create a port for this with uh, C out as output of one bit. Regenerate the layout, then validate the design. Validation successful, there are no errors. Then go to the sources. This is a block design. Convert this into Verilog. Dot BDX will be converted into dot V. Right click, create HDL wrapper. Observe the changes here. Now the block design is converted into dot V by the Vivado manager. Once the updation is completed, click on run behavioral simulation.
right now these are in a b c in are in high impedance state you need to provide the inputs and the outputs are in undefined state x indicates it is a undetermined state this is a high impedance state right click force clock i'll make it as 200 with the leading edge 1 0 click ok right click force clock 1 0 and this one with 600 period finally see in force clock 1 0 with the 800 once the design is or assigning is done click on run for 1000 nanoseconds you can see that for all three input combination sum is one carry is one you can evaluate for 0, 0, 001 sum is 1 carries 0 in this way you can complete a logical evaluation by using a logical diagram in xilinx vivado tool